Be very good at self-evaluation. As a leader, you must know what you're doing good at and what you're doing bad at. If you know the areas that you're doing good at and you know that you need to keep doing them and you know that they're working because you're getting the results from them, then that's a good thing. But if you don't know where you're, where you're going wrong, then that's not a good thing because you always want to be self-assessing, self-evaluating, and self-assessing your days. You know, what, what you did good today, what you could have done better, what you could have improved, and a lot of it comes down to time management. And my favorite quote by Stephen, who is it by? It's by uh, Bruce Lee. And he says, you know, if you love life, don't waste time. The time is what life is made up of. And that comes so prevalent to your life and my life because our, our life is based up of moments and time. And we have to use this time and moments effectively because we're never going to get back finite we will never get this time back so it's how we use this time and going back to the self-evaluation and self-assessment is that if you do evaluate yourself the good way you can get better and you can see improvements and that's you know that's the beauty of life the, the beauty of life is that you that you're that you're accomplishing you're going towards a mission and you're climbing the mountain it's not the fact that you're at the mountain and you're at the peak the beauty is, is that you're climbing. That's, that's the beauty. The real beauty is actually climbing the mountain. The beauty is not when you're at the top, chilling, drinking margaritas at the beach. That is not the real beauty. The real beauty is climbing that ladder, you know, getting better every single day, self-assessing, self-evaluating. And, you know, you know, quick tips here is like self-assessing and self-evaluating. If you're falling down, chances are it's going to be three things that you're going to fall down on. It's going to be drugs, alcohol, or sex. Those three things are going, to, are going to make you fall down. And this comes true to so many people's like lives as, as, as you see these you know, professional athletes. And they don't do well because they're, they'll go to drugs or they'll go to alcohol or they'll go to sex. Like they'll, They'll go to these, you'll see them in, you know, these mugshots or these, these pictures of them doing bad. And, you know, I even heard, heard uh, Herschel Walker, one of the greatest football players of all time, says to stay away from drugs and alcohol because it, it can ruin football players' careers. And he said it himself how it, how it ruins careers. So it's so important for you to stay away from these vices and to keep yourself entertained with things that are, that you can use that are actually benefiting your life that you don't need externally. You know, for example, drugs and alcohol are external. They're external. You drink the beer, you smoke the weed. These are external things that are not within yourself. If you can be happy within yourself, if you can be present within yourself, if you can, if you can learn to do these things, you're going to live a, a much better life. I think about this stuff every single day because it's so many people are looking forward to the Friday night. They're looking forward to the next vacation they can get. They're looking forward to the next time that they're, that they're not like, you know, just living these miserable lives at their jobs. And what you, what you have to do is you have to learn to appreciate every single moment that you have in life. Every single moment. You have to learn to be grateful from where you are. You have to be willing to be learning from every situation that you're in. And this is the way, this is the beauty and the secret to life in my opinion, because you know you, you just can't get depressed this way. If you're doing your absolute best and you're getting better every day and you, you're doing as much as you can with what you have, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, obviously we all do want better, but at the same time, you wanna be grateful. It's that, it's, that, it's that good part of balance that you're grateful for where you are, but you also wanna to get to that next level. And, and that's, you know, that's truly, truly happiness. You know, Andy Priscilla, says there's three things to happiness and that's gratitude, uh, discipline, and something else. Can't remember what the third thing is, but you know, discipline and gratitude, what I was just talking about for sure can lead to happiness because that's the way you're gonna be happy. And it, it's worked for my life. I know it'll work for yours. Manage, self-assess, and self-manage your, your time and your life, you know, know where your 
mistakes are and know how you can improve those instead of going to drugs okay i'm going to go to the gym instead of going to these bad habits like porn okay i'm going to go to the gym if you haven't noticed the gym is the end all be all to a lot of problems it solves a lot of problems and it, it, it benefits nothing but you the gym the only thing the gym benefits is you nothing else but yourself and that's what you need to improve your life to stop looking for external factors like drugs or alcohol to make your life better self-assess your life improve your life that is the video i have for you today if you like the video like the video comment in the comment section subscribe turn your post notifications on we'll see you in the next video